I want to say something right here. You all might, this might make you all think. Life is real short. So you add up all your traveling, add up all your sleeping, add up all your school, add up all your entertainment, you've probably been half your life doing nothing. So I'm 35 years old. 30 more years, I'll be 65. We don't have no more influence. We can't do nothing much at 65. Wife will tell you that. So what I'm saying, when you're 65, when you're 65, ain't too much more to do. So did you know I'll be 65 in 30 more years? In those 30 years, I have to sleep nine years. I don't have 30 years of daylight. I have to travel back to America, take six, seven miles. All my traveling, probably four years of traveling in the next 30 years, about nine years of sleeping, television, movies, entertainment, about three years of entertainment. Out of 30 years, I might have about 16 years to be productive. So it's how we can all break individual lives down. What am I going to do in the next 16 years? What's the best thing I can do? Get ready to meet God. Owning real estate, going in business, teaching boxers, that won't get me to heaven. How many here believe there's a supreme being, believe there's a God? How many believe there's some power that made the sun, the moon, and stuff? How many believe that this stuff didn't just come out here, somebody wiser than us made it? You who don't believe in God, if I told you that this glass sprang into existence, this glass made itself, no man made this glass, would you believe it? Would you believe I just told you this thing made itself? No. When I tell you, you wouldn't believe it, right? If I turn on this television station, it's popped into existence. It just, no man made it. You said Muhammad Ali's crazy. All right. Well, if this glass can't make itself, if I told you those clothes you have on, wove themselves. Nobody created them. Those clothes made themselves. You wouldn't believe it. But if your, if your clothes didn't make itself, if that glass couldn't make itself, if this building didn't make itself, then how did the moon get out there? How did the stars and Jupiter and Neptune and Mars and the sun, how did nature, how, how did all this come here if didn't know why is something planning to make it? So what I'm going to do when I get out of boxing is to get myself ready to meet God because it's a scary thing to think that I'm going to hell to burn eternally forever when I get out of boxing or when I'm through I'm gonna do all I can to help people God is watching me God is God don't praise me because I beat Joe Frazier God don't give nothing about Joe Frazier God don't care nothing about England or America as far as your wealth is all he is he wants to know how do we treat each other how do we help each other so I'm going to dedicate my life to using my name and popularity, helping charities, helping people, uniting people. So when I die, if there's a heaven, I want to see it. Because we live how long? 80 years? The odds are, everybody in this room, some of you are going to be dead 20 years from now. Some of you are going to be dead 50 years from now. Some are going to be dead 30. Some are going to be dead 60, 70 years from now. We all going to die soon. So we don't have but about 80 years on earth. This is a test to see where will we spend our life in heaven and hell. This is not the life now. Your real self is inside you. Your body gets old. Some of you go to look at the fridge, look old. you don't have no teeth. Your hair is leaving you. Your bodies get tired. But your soul and your spirit never die. That's going to live forever. So your body is just housing your soul and spirit. So God is testing us on how we treat each other, how we live, to see where our real home be in heaven. So this physical stuff don't last for so long. So my car, this building is going to be here when the man who built it dead. There have been many kings and queens of England. They're all dead. After this one is gone, another one will come. So we don't stay here. We're just trustees. We don't own nothing. Even your children are not yours, if you think I'm lying. Your wife is not yours. You die and come back a year later and go slip in your bedroom and see if your wife is by herself. See? You don't own your wife. You don't own your, I divorced my wife, you may have read about it, and my four children, they call another man daddy now. They don't see me no more. You don't own your children. You don't own your family. So what am I saying? The most important thing about life is what's going to happen when you die. Are you going to go to heaven or hell? And that's eternity.